Well, hello, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember, uh, my standard disclaimer is that these 5-Minute Motivators are one-take wonders. There's not a lot of post-production work. I don't edit anything out of them, like uh, extraneous noises, etc. And I say that because there are a couple of kids in the swimming pool right now, even though it's quite early. And... Um, they are plain and they're loud and they're boisterous and uh, boy the things you see when you don't have velcro <laughs> uh, i'm sorry uh anyway uh, <clears throat> also uh in the uh rafters uh or in the on the uh, you'll notice those um rain gutters on the uh, adjoining building uh there are iguanas in the rain gutters of this building and consequently when their nails hit there's one right now when their nails hit the uh, the uh, aluminum, they make an awful screeching sound. So you may hear some of that also. And the joys of living in um, a tropical area, isn't it? Uh, you know, a couple years back, if you ever said you're going to have an iguana problem, I'd say, what the hell's an iguana? Uh, and they're not even a problem. They're, they're lovely little things. Anyway, uh, today I would like to discuss what I like to call the key to success and the key to happiness. They are not the same and they should be looked at individually. Uh, don't get them mixed up. You know, when we talk about success, uh, I like to say that, uh, you know, the definition of success that I've used for the last 35 years is that success is the progressive realization of worthwhile predetermined personal goals. Okay, that's really what success is. It's knowing what you want in advance. Uh, it's setting a goal for it, setting a predefined action plan, writing it down and going for it. That's success. But success does not always bring happiness. And I can tell you that from my consultancy. I have met, uh, uh, I can't tell you how many individuals that have hit their goals but have found out that they were not happy with it. Uh, I, I know individuals that have set some gigantic monetary goals, hit those monetary goals at the cost of their health, at the cost of their relationships, and ha at the cost of just simply being miserable. That's not exactly happiness. It's success because they got what they wanted, but it's not happiness. Uh, I have met uh, other individuals that have worked very diligently on tuning and tweaking their bodies, getting to the gym at 4 o'clock in the morning and spending 15 minutes on lifting a weight in a, cer a certain way so that it attacks a fraction of a muscle. And uh, they spent hours at the gym at the cost of l losing jobs, and uh, having just a miserable life, aside from the fact that they look like a Greek god. Uh, so, you know, uh, ultimately uh, there is uh, a balance that has to occur. Success is really getting what we want, knowing in advance what we want, setting the plan and getting what we want. But what about happiness? If success doesn't bring about happiness, then what does? Here's how I like to define, give you a quick definition of happiness. Being content with what you have. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is being content with what you have. Contentment does not mean stopping. Just because you are content with what you have and you are happy with that, you can always ask for more. You can always set additional goals, stretch goals to get more. But every step of the way, of your success journey should be benchmarked with contentment. And that contentment will bring about happiness. Every day should be a joy. Every day moving forward should be a joy. And the more joy that you have, the happier you are, the more content you are, well, ultimately, the more successful you are. So it's almost as if the definition of success is written in the bowels of the definition of happiness. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is being content with what you have. And the happier we are, the more successful we can become. You chew on this today, ladies and gentlemen. You chew on this today. And I hope it brings a smile to your face. And I hope that you become more content. And I hope that you become more happy. And I hope that you become more successful. Bill Shaka, thank you for attending yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. I am so thrilled to be here. Look forward to seeing you in the next edition. Bye-bye.